Skip Pete. The Dallas Cowboys bring in Skip Pete. And before you guys get into it, this is not a hype video, but I am very pleased. I am very pleased after looking at his resume and looking at his total body of work. I'm very pleased. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Pete uh, been coaching for a long time, for over 20 years now, uh, looking at his total body of work. Now, he started off in Pittsburgh as a graduate assistant down there for the Pittsburgh College or what have you. Now, prior to that, you know, when he get into the NFL talks of the world, he did coach up the Raiders. Hmm. That, do that ring a bell? A Lamont Jordan, a Tyrone Wheatley. Remember those boys that was able to get a thousand yards or what have you from his running situation? Fast forwarding from that 2002 Raiders team, heading over to the Dallas Cowboys, the 2007. That was his uh, kind of sort of like his first year with Marion the Barbarian. He got him into the Pro Bowl. He had over 10, what, 10 touchdowns, something like that close to a thousand yards, but it was the franchise highest recorded yards per carry, 4.8 in the Cowboys franchise history during that time frame in 2007. But here's the thing, going all the way back to Skip Pete's uh, college careers, what have you, as relate to him starting off, first and foremost, he played wide receiver. <laughs> Let that sink into your mental. How does a guy who played wide receiver in college at uh, Arizona and Kansas end up being a running backs coach for uh, almost uh, two decades, what, 16 years running here? My story, actually coaching wide receivers at the University of Pittsburgh for Paul Hackett. And um, at that time, we had a running back coach who left to go home and accept the head high school coach at his old alma mater. And he asked me if I would be interesting to to move to running backs and uh, coach that position because he wanted to put a, a new coach in with a group of guys that were pretty stable and the running back group at that particular time had had some issues and he felt he wanted a coach that had some relationship with those guys with him at that time. So I opted to switch from coaching uh, wide receivers to coaching running backs. He started out coaching wide receiver play. And why is this so important? Why is this so important by him being able to coach up the wide receivers and then on top of that to do the running back situation? getting everyone involved, whether you were wide receiver, tight end, or back end. Um, that's kind of what um, he structured himself after following, um, I guess, his time with the 49ers and running that system and learning it and becoming his system that um, it's not just structured to get the ball to one specific guy. Mm -hmm. It's going to be spread around to a bunch of guys. Mm, dual threat. You see, I believe that the Cowboys brought him in because of those reasonings. And we're going to look at everything from A to Z with Coach Pete. And then on top of that, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do you guys remember this guy by the name of Charlie Gardner? He had 900 and I believe, uh, I, I want to say he had 962 yards rushing and 940 something yards uh, receiving. But the main thing that he had was reception, 91 receptions. And he goes into details, whereas you want to reserve your running back. You want to be able to also have your running back to do all things. One thing that I can say with the previous running back coach that everybody loved, and trust me, Gary Brown did a heck of a job with Ezekiel Elliott, but his love affair for Ezekiel trumps everything else. It trumps Tony Pollard. Now, when you add into the mix of what Skip going to do, Pete, not Skip Bayless, Skip Pete, He's not going to have that same love and adulations as relates to only one running back because his mindset is to feed everyone. Oh, Lord, do you have any information for the nation on that? Oh, oh, yes, I do. You guys remember this certain running back that played and, and ran all over us when we played against them, played for the Chicago Bears, Matt Forte. From Tulane University. Shout out to Tulane. Oh my goodness. Interesting story about Matt. Um, my years at UCLA, I, I worked for a guy by the name of Bob Toledo. And Bob Toledo ended up going down to become the head coach at Tulane. And he coached a guy by the name of Matt Forte. So 
I'm sitting in my office, my phone rings, and he said, hey, Skip, he goes, I don't even know if you guys are interested in a back in a draft, but I'm telling you, you got a guy here that can do it all. He goes, he can run it, he can catch it, he can block, he's physical, he's tough, he's smart. He goes, he's everything you want in a back. That guy, that guy, he was able to catch the ball out of the backfield run and not just do that, learn the entire scheme and know how to do everything. And here's the thing, not saying that Ezekiel, the main man, L.A., the path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish can't do it. But what I'm trying to say here is that this coaching staff built by Mike McCarthy is looking at the total picture. Remember, he set out an entire year scheming, going over things from A to Z. And trust me, this is not a hype video. At some point in time, which is hard for any back, is when you tell them that, you know, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to play every play. And, um, I mean, they all want to play every play. They want to carry the ball every single play. Um, but, um, you know, I mean, it seems like the structure of this league has changed a little bit where it's going to be more of a platoon type system where you're going to utilize one or two more guys to carry the load at the running back position. This is what the Cowboys should have been doing last year. Tony Pollard, Ezekiel Elliott using the running backs as weaponry. And on top of that, if you can imagine this, being able to catch the ball out of the backfield and using that West Coast offense, everything short, and to be able to create the long and separations from the running back. Oh my goodness, this is some good stuff. So what I'm trying to say is that if Marion the Barbarian had his greatest season of all time when you had Coach Skip Pete out there, shout out to Coach Skip Pete. Although he bounced from what, Chicago Bears, and then he went to the Los Angeles uh, 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 Rams or what have you, and they didn't really do that much this previous year. But Coach Skip Pete, his ties run deeper than what we think. And you guys probably know, his brother played for the Cowboys. Yeah, in 19 of 94. <laughs> Rodney Pete, they just want to, I just want to be able to, to show you guys uh, that, that this thing is still close within the family. But by him being used to this area, I'm talking about Coach Skip Pete, not just his brother Rodney Pete. Uh, but by him being close to this area, I think that he's already going to be familiar with this team. He's already going to be in the mix. He's already going to be on the grind action. And this is team is all about reserving Ezekiel Elliott because we signed up for a long term, but also elevating. Life for you is a back a lot easier when you do know the entire scheme and understand the entire scheme. Elevation for the nation, for Tony P, Tony Parla, dude. I didn't even think about that. That Matt Forte, <laughs> Tony Pollard, is the almost run similar, but Matt Forte was just a little bit more of a, uh, Matt Forte is just a different type of animal. But Tony Pollard, I can see him in those lights now that I look at everything, what Coach Pete is able to bring out and elevate. So we're looking at everything, Cowboy Nation, and I love the fact that they're doing their homework. Hmm. Homework for the nation, man. It makes everything feasible now. It makes everything works out, especially, especially when you can think about it. We changed our special teams coach, which is better. We went and we dug and did our homework on a tight ends coach. Hmm. And then on top of that, we flipped out this defense. We should get more turnovers and takeaways. Mike McCarthy is looking back at this thing. And trust me, this is not a hype video. Don't get it twisted, Cowboy Nation, because we still got to see it done. We got to see it right now. We got to see it done. Right now, it just seems like all of the pieces are being put in place. So we'll see what Coach Skip Pete is going to do. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know how you all feel about Coach Skip Pete. And do you feel that he's going to be able to elevate? I'm talking about this, not deviate. But elevate Ezekiel, the main man, Elliott's uh, running situation, and especially elevate Tony Pollard. Because last I checked, Tony Pollard can catch out of the backfield, can run those slow slants too, and he can do just about anything a slot receiver can do. And now you couple that with the fact that now we're going to be really focusing in on both running backs and featuring both opposed to one. Let's go, Cowboy Nation. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Let's go.
Hit that like button. Share this content. Let a friend, neighbor, foe. Let them know where to go. Come on. Peace.